Hello, scientists. So today for our at-home activity, we're going to be doing pipe cleaner neurons. And make sure you pay attention throughout the video because we'll be sharing some very cool facts about what neurons are and what they do. So for this activity, it's super simple. You only need two materials. Get yourself some beads, get yourself some pipe cleaners. As you guys can see, I have my trusty sidekick with me, Monkey the Cat. So first, we're gonna use some scissors to cut pieces of pipe cleaner into six smaller pieces. It doesn't matter what color of pipe cleaner you use, you can be creative. So two large pieces of pipe cleaner are needed as well, and then we're gonna gather 14 beads. Again, the colors don't matter, it's totally up to you, so be creative. Next, take the large pipe cleaner and one of the smaller pipe cleaners. Twist the small pipe cleaner around the larger pipe cleaner, roughly an inch from the end. Each piece should be about an inch long. This part of the neuron is called the axon terminal. It's the part of the neuron that sends messages to other neurons. Think of it kind of like a game of telephone. Each axon terminal signaling the next. Now take the large pipe cleaner and begin to thread beads onto it. Did you know the human brain has about 100 billion neurons? And if you lined up all the neurons in your body, they would be 600 miles long. That's like walking from New York City all the way to Columbia, South Carolina. As we talked about earlier, the neurons in our bodies act like telephone lines and carry messages from one part of our body to another. They do this using electricity and chemicals called neurotransmitters. That's right, we have electricity going on inside of us all the time. It's the reason why we can feel a ladybug landing on us or why we feel cold when it's chilly outside. Your brain sends messages to another part of your body and these electrical signals are sent through neurons. The part of the neuron that we're adding beads to is called the axon and the beads represent the myelin sheath which acts as an insulator, helping electrical signals transmit quickly. Now, take the other large piece of pipe cleaner and begin to twist it into a spiral, kind of like a snail shell. This part of the neuron is called the cell body and it's home to the nucleus of the cell. Think of the nucleus as the control center of the cell, kind of like the brain for the brain cell. Okay, scientists, so this next part might be a little tricky, but I have a feeling you'll catch on pretty quick. We're going to take the cell body that we just created and begin to twist the smaller pipe cleaners onto it, specifically onto the outermost edge of the spiraled pipe cleaner. This part of the neuron is called the dendrite. The dendrite is the part of the neuron that receives messages from other neurons. Can you guys remember the name for the part of the neuron we created earlier that sends messages to other neurons? Think for a second and pause the video if you need to. That's right, it's the axon terminal. The dendrite, as we just said, is the part of the neuron that takes in those messages. Just like if you were playing telephone with your friends and your buddy whispered something into your ear, you'd be the dendrite. It really is incredible how quickly and sufficiently our brains send signals and communicate. It's like we have the world's most powerful computer right inside of our own heads. Guess what, scientists? We're almost done creating our neurons. For the final step, we're going to twist the long pipe cleaner threaded with the beads onto the spiraled pipe cleaner. Take a second and see how many of the neuron parts you can name from memory. And extra brownie points if you can remember what those parts do. If you have extra pipe cleaner sticking out, make sure to cut it off. And voila, we have our very own neurons. Thanks so much for joining me today, scientists. You are all now officially neuroscientists. How does it feel? Tell your friends, tell your teachers. Use it as a fake mustache, maybe. Mm. But stay tuned for more videos that NICEF has coming out on at-home activities. We have some really awesome stuff. So make sure to check our website.